Welcome to video 2. Let's recap where we left off. The Sustainable Development Goals, 17 of them in total. Some are completely new, yet others build on previous MDGs. For example, quality education, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all, no poverty, end poverty in all of its forms, gender equality, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Rothschild's theory shows five stages of development, just like a child growing into an adult. He theorises that the global south is stuck at the takeoff stage, however through aid and development the north has helped the global south to stabilise their development. So where does sport fit in? Well sport for development refers to the international use of sport and physical activity to attain specific development and peace objectives. Sport can be used as a platform to assist development. For example, it can help education, combat diseases such as HIV and AIDS, and promote gender equality. Remember the SDGs? Yep, sport is already tackling some of the goals I highlighted before. Sport can be used as a universal language to bring people together, teach teamwork and tolerance. There are many different organisations to try and help with sport for development. These are split up into two categories. Governing organisations, GOs, or non-governing organisations, NGOs. Here are a few examples of GOs. USAID, Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, UK Sport International, and UN Sport for Development. Here are a few examples of NGOs. African Youth Development Fund, Sport in Action, Right to Play, and Magic Bus. Let's take an in-depth look at the Magic Bus and what it does. This is a non-governing organisation that is based in India. From India's youth, 48% are girls, however only 12% finished 12th grade. 98% of children are within 2 kilometers from a school, but 60% cannot count to 10. 80% of India's youth are illiterate or unskilled. Magic Bus wants to change all of this, and have been doing successfully for over a decade. They use sport and structured play activities to attract the youth. Using games to find out the problems that the children are facing, they use that information to plan the next session. It has been so successful that the government signed to interstate the Magic Bus curriculum into the national curriculum. A massive 78% of children who attend the sessions go back to school. How amazing is that? This video, created by Magic Bus, explains about their Connect program and how it helps civilians gain employment. It also shows how they help in homes that still uphold the beliefs of gender inequality. That video showed how organisations like Magic Bus help people continue with their education and obtain jobs by helping through the interview process and by writing a CV. This links back to the development theory. A higher educated workforce means a country can industrialise and develop higher skilled jobs. This links into globalisation theory. It is part of the process that makes a country develop. Thank you for watching my international development video. I hope you have both found it informative and interesting. Created using Powtoon.